We're seeing more fallout from Indiana's religious freedom law. Many believe the law will make it legal to discriminate against gays and lesbians. Protests have been widespread. More are planned for later today. The NCAA even expressed concerns. It suggested it could move future events elsewhere. The men's final four will be held in Indianapolis next weekend. Republican Governor Mike Pence signed the measure last week. He has defended it since, but has refused to clarify whether it allows discrimination. Today, Connecticut will join the cities of San Francisco and Seattle in banning publicly funded trips to Indiana. Connecticut Governor Dan Malloy spoke this afternoon. No state should use religious grounds to be the basis for discrimination against anyone in our country. Let me point out uh, that it is a sad fact that in our history, uh, religion was used as a basis to support uh, uh, treating uh, black and uh, white individuals differently as well. And I won't allow any of our citizens in Connecticut uh, to face discrimination in other states, at least without a fight. Uh, what I think uh, it would be cowardly for me to have done would be to wait till the tournament was over. Um, and so what I think, um, uh, what I'm hoping uh, to do is to speak to the citizens of our state who for a long time experienced discrimination, uh, which we finally resolved in our own state, now only to be faced with facing a very public discrimination in other states. Um, if you're a citizen of Connecticut, uh, you have the, the protection of the quality of laws uh, and, uh, and the enforcement of those laws in this state. I think you deserve the same treatment in other states as well. Somebody's got to stand up to this kind of bigotry, uh, and I'm prepared to do it. Apple CEO Tim Cook criticized the law in the Washington Post, writing, quote, On behalf of Apple, I'm standing up to oppose this new wave of legislation wherever it emerges. I'm writing in the hopes that many more will join this movement.